and therefore uh, uh, a terminal voltage stabilization system has to be added to it and uh, that is very important aspect of it. Now that terminal uh, volt stabilization system or voltage stabilization system depends on what are the inputs and what are the output uh, parameters of the, of the whole system. And now they are explained here. Uh, let us see what are the things involved and what where the where the error could come in. See, for example, we are using as first is voltage generation, and that generation is coming because we are charging the capacitance and capacitance uh, capacitor. We are charging the capacitor, and capacitor is formed because of this high voltage terminal and the uh, and the pressure vessel. So it is represented by C here. Then the, uh, there are various currents. Uh, for example, the charging current uh, which is flowing. So I call it I charging here and that is coming in. So voltage is, uh, the voltage is developed because of that. But what are the other loads which uh, the charging current has to match? And you can see various loads are that there is a corona, uh, there is a um, uh, column column uh, uh, current which is responsible for voltage gradient then there is a because you are uh, you are uh, after charging there will be some some leakages in the in the accelerating tubes and always some uh, uh, current will flow through that so we call it i tube and uh, then uh, we are uh, we are uh, accelerating the beam and uh, that also has to be taken in so this has to this i c or i charging has to at least match with this and then uh, for corona stabilization system uh, we uh, this is a corona st uh, stabilization system here and uh, this basically a triode which I will explain later. But here what is happening is between high voltage and uh, uh, this there is a calm sort of thing and there is a continuously there is a constant amount of current is flowing here because of corona formation. So uh, we try to modulate, to the, uh, modulate this by the uh, uh, feedback system. So that is how it is, uh, but this is a sort of constant corona load all the time because of this. So these are some of the loads and which have to be taken into account. Now what, how the voltage is done, uh, how the voltage stabilization is done, one is that we use corona probe and other one is uh, using the GVM itself. So let's say that uh, either so this is a system which takes care of uh, uh, this procedure. So either you can use one of them. So this is coming because of uh, uh, feedback and uh, either the input to this corona stabilization system is uh, uh, either from the feedback of the slits which is coming from the energy or it can be from the from the uh, GBM itself. So you can see that. So this is one circuit of uh, uh, corona stabilization system or voltage stabilization system which is used in the 6 million, million volt tandem accelerator at BRC. This we call it a folded tandem ion accelerator here. Now, uh, V is equal to Q by C is the basic formula which we all remember and uh, this is also shown that uh, V the voltage will depend on I belt which we are supplying and current which you are drawing through this and the corona stabilization. So corona stabilization basically uh, we modulate this because V current uh, beam is more or less fixed and I belt has to I belt has to take care belt or the pellet chain has to take care of this. So what we do is that we uh, we uh, modulate this 
what led i corona over the corona systems here here and uh, that is used for corona stabilization units voltage uh, is stabilized because you can see here that suppose you take this vandy graph and in vandy graph this is the charging system here where i belt is uh, uh, used for uh, uh, for charging the high voltage terminal and uh, this is the accelerating tube you can see this is the accelerating tube and this is a resistor chain which uh, is established the voltage gradient here and this is the uh, di uh, uh, this is a corona stabilization system which is basically nothing but the triode and it's shown here you can see this is the corona stabilization uh, triode system how it works let me explain it uh, in any triode system you know that the load or the current uh, flowing from uh, anode to cathode here depends on uh, how much is the voltage uh, on a screen and normally a screen is negatively volt negative charge uh, negative voltage is applied now so what we do is that we modulate this uh, uh, this screen voltage with respect to anode and cathode uh, from the beam which is falling on the feedback slits here you can see so what happens let's say if the, if the screen is more negative then of course the current passing let's say the current going from anode to cathode will reduce so uh, if the it becomes more negative it will become uh, less current will pass through this and if it it becomes less negative the more current will pass less negative more current will pass and when the more current is passing the voltage will come down will go down and if it is a current is uh, reduced Uh, less current then it will go up so this is how uh, it takes place and you can see here how it is happening so this is there is a in accelerated the beam is accelerated and this is analyzed for for the energy now magnetic field uh, is set up on in this magnet this is called analyzing magnet Uh, corresponding to a particular energy and that energy depends on the voltage so if there is a variation in the voltage the energy will change so let us suppose that voltage v now is the correct voltage and uh, uh, if, uh, if there are two possibilities here following things can happen voltage v increases by delta v that means ideally we have set up at v not so v which is actual voltage has become v not plus delta v so once the voltage has increased the energy beam energy will also increase or it will be higher once it is higher then for a fixed magnetic field deflection will be less here and therefore more beam will fall on b you can see this we call it high energy now the energy has increased so this we call it high energy slip so the more beam will come and since beam is always diverging uh, so some beam is always falling on both of them a and b but here now because of increase in the energy more beam will fall on b so if you convert this current or the charge into voltage and take the difference that means vb minus va then you will see that if it is falling uh, the energy has increased here that means vb minus va will be positive and when you add this positive this becomes less negative and when it becomes less negative means more current will pass through and uh, and when the more current is passing through the voltage will come down now that is what we want is because the voltage has increased we wanted to bring it down and uh, that is what is happening so for a fixed magnetic field deflection will be less and hence beam will fall on slit b we call it high energy slit 
the charge is converted to voltage through some circuit here because uh, is the charge collected on this the voltage difference v v minus a as i explained this is uh, will be positive now this is added to the screen voltage which is this voltage which is at negative potential so when the positive you are added to is it becomes less negative now and as a consequence of that uh, uh, the current will more current will flow more current will flow from anode to cathode that means it is a more load in the triode circuit and the voltage will come down or decrease to v value it, you can um, adjust the parameters in such a way that it exactly matches the and the voltage will come down and it will become uh, v naught again and that is that is what we wanted so this is called voltage stabilization so this is one uh, one situation when the voltage has increased now suppose the voltage had uh, decreased that means it has become v naught minus delta v what will happen now the voltage has decreased and therefore energy will be lower this energy is lower so energy is lower for a same magnetic field there will be more deflection and therefore more deflection means the more beam will fall on this this slit a which we call it at low energy because there is a low energy slit so uh, more beam falls on a so if you take that uh, again the difference that means voltage we can say v b minus v a or we call it uh, v v a b then it will be negative now because uh, it is falling on this we are taking b minus v so it will be negative so when you add this negative to the negative it will be more negative it will be more negative and a screen will be more negative means less current will flow through, through the circuit that means this circuit and less current will flow less so load is you are decreasing the load and uh, this will amount to voltage will go up now load has reduced so voltage will go up and that is what you want so this is nothing but the voltage stabilization so this is how the voltage uh, uh, stabilization takes place using this is one of the method other method is as i said that uh, this uh, uh, even the uh, generating voltmeter itself can also be used so what you can the same procedure will be same so what is happening there that uh, uh, generating voltmeter has measured let's say voltage uh, v not and if slightly increases then you again measure it it has become v not plus delta v or uh, when it decreases it become v not minus v t so then this can again give a feedback in the generating voltmeter itself and that also can be used in the similar the arguments are same and therefore it can also be used for voltage stabilization so you can see that this circuit here what you are seeing here this circuit is using the voltage stabilization using the feedback from the uh, from the slits and that you call it slit mode you can use full slit mode other one is that you can have the, the 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 correction or the feedback from the generating voltmeter itself so you compare the voltages uh, uh, actual voltage with the reference voltage which is v not and then give the feedback to this system so this is given here and uh, uh, when you do it it basically modulates the uh, uh, the corona current here in this in this region and that uh, increases or decreases the load this circuit was designed by mj kansara sapna padam kumar and colleagues of iadd brc it worked very well and we could achieve in both the cases the voltage uh, stabilization of about 2 kv at uh, highest voltage of 6 million volts so uh, this circuit worked very well so uh, to summarize uh, the whole thing 
is that uh, although initially this uh, GBM measurements were used to get an idea about the voltage value, particularly to avoid the corona discharges. In, but later on the, with the, with the uh, advancement in the technologies, uh, even with the GBMs, uh, voltage stabilization is also done nicely as well as the voltage measurements have also been done accurately. Now in this one, one of the contribution uh, in the uh, error will come uh, uh, due to raster values and therefore we have to use high quality resters and if we use that high quality resters and take care of other things, the voltage stability is of uh, 10 power minus 4, uh, less than 10 power minus 4 can be achieved delta V by V uh, of less than 1 minus 10 power minus 4 can be achieved and have been achieved and this uh, uh, this is equivalent to 1 kV in 10 million volts this is a very good uh, however why uh, we still uh, uh, if you want to go to even better uh, measurements then we have to uh, uh, measure or determine the energy not based on this but uh, based on more accurate more accurate methods which are based on the magnetic field uh, value calibrations using the nuclear reactions and uh, nuclear reactions of two types have been used for calibration and one is resonance type they are very accurate values they give or other one is the neutron threshold value these experiments have been used and they give the most accurate values. Thank you very much.